up youtube it's your girl may and welcome back to my channel um if you see that thumbnail and you see that title you already know what i'm talking about today today's gonna be another story time um i got some pretty good feedback on the last story time i did so i thought why not do another one so but before we get into it though i need y'all to like comment and subscribe you feel me um follow all my social media it's gonna be down in the description and yeah let's go so this story time is gonna be about the time that i ran away um <laughs> First of all, this story took place three years ago. Like, it took place three years ago. It took place in 2018. No, it's now 2021, so that was three years ago. But, I just want you guys to know for the record, I was 18 at the time. You feel me? I was not a kid. I was 18. So, okay, so, a little backstory. I can't get into every detail of, like, what led up to my me running away because... Like it, it's just personal, and I don't want to share that with y'all. But and it's just not. It really, some of it is not my business to tell. But anyway, so I graduated high school in June of 2018, right? And a lot of things were going on during this time. Now, like at this point, like I, yeah, I'm, I was used to things happening in my life that I didn't want to happen. But like this particular thing, like okay, so first of all, let's just. I'm just talk, and then as, as I talk, you might you you understand everything will just come together. So I graduated high school t June of 2018, and after I graduated, like some you know some things were going on, and I ended up having to go move with my grandma in South Carolina, um, which is actually where I'm at right now. But that's besides the point. So I had to go live with my grandma, and I did not want to come live with my grandma because I just graduated high school, and you know. Um, it was the summer before college. I actually ended up not even going to college the following fall semester. I didn't go to I didn't go to college till August of 2019, so I took a year off. But anyway, it was the summer before college. All my friends were going to college. They were going their separate ways, pretty much. And I'm like, you know, we need to hang out. So I was really not trying to go live with my grandma because that's three hours away in South Carolina from Wilmington. It's three hours, so. And I didn't have a car or a license, so it's not like I could drive back and forth. You know, like my mom would have to drive me in. She was not having that. Like she did not want me to. You feel me? Like my mom was is, is very protective of me. You know, I'm the youngest, I'm the only girl, so it's like wherever she went, I went, and I really was like no choice. So I mean, it would have been different if, like, I had my own apartment or something. Like, of course, I could have stayed in my own apartment, but I didn't. I was broke. I mean, I had a job, but like not, I wasn't making enough to move my own place. So basically I had to go live with my grandma and I was, I was so sad about that. Like, um, you feel me? Like I'm 18. I want to do what I want to do. You feel me? And which is not always the right thing, but I mean, at the time I thought it was right. So I got to South Carolina at my grandma's house and you know, like. Before I left though, I ended up leaving the day of graduation. So, you know, one of my friends, my best friend, she, you know, told my mom like I could stay with her. Like they could go ahead and I could stay with her. And, but my mom, she didn't want me to stay. Cause I ended up finding out later on that like my mom didn't, well, my, both of my parents didn't want it to seem like they were just putting me off on other people. Like, you know, you're just putting your kid off on somebody else. And I understand that, but at the time I didn't want to hear that you feel me I wanted to do what I want to do so when I um when my best friend told my mom that I could stay with her you no know, she said no and that I had to come with her anyway fast forward we get to South Carolina I'm there for about a week and that whole week I was you know me and my friends it's like seven of us uh, it was seven of us at the time and we had a group chat and I'm telling them in the group chat like I don't want to be here um uh, Honestly, like, I was crying, and I'm very, I'm a very emotional person, so, like, if I feel like I need to cry, I'm probably going to cry, like, so I was crying, <laughs> I was crying, I was texting them, like, y'all, I don't want to be here, like, you know, y'all going to college, like, I mean, actually, speaking of college, um, when I was graduated high school, I had plans to go to UNCW, um, which is in Wilmington, and, um, I got admitted for the spring semester, so, that means I, was, I wasn't going to go until January of 2019, but my friends are still going in August of 2018, so 
you know, I was trying to hang out with them. But anyway, I was texting them, saying I don't want to be there. And finally, one of my friends got the idea. Was like, you know, like to ask your mom. She's like, ask your mom to meet us in Myrtle Beach, which is like halfway. And I asked her. She said no again. So they was like, you know what? We're gonna come get you. And I was like, come get me. Like I kind of got excited, but I was scared at the same time. Like I was scared. I'm not even gonna lie. I was scared because, you know, like first of all, y'all know black moms don't be playing. I mean, well, I can't speak for nobody else's mom. But I know black moms don't be playing. When they say no, that I mean no. You feel me? Sometimes you can, you might be able to get get away with doing something behind your mom back. But like this was something serious. So, you know, she said no, and then they said it's gonna come get me. So, I remember that day so clearly that they came to get me. My friend, I was driving. She was texting everybody. You know, she picked up people to come get me with her, so she didn't have to drive alone. And I sent them my location. You feel me? I live in the country. My grandma lives in the country, like. Like literally across the street from my house is a big old field and sometimes there's cotton in the field uh i think in the winter it's cotton or something like that but anyway i sent them my location and you feel me they was on the way and i honestly i was only at my grandma's house for a week so i didn't even unpack my stuff yet like all my stuff was still in my bags i think i had two bags oh i had three bags but i ended up leaving one behind because i couldn't carry it with me so they pulled up outside the house I, boy first of all before we, they before they even got there I remember so clearly this day like I was I feel like I was acting very suspiciously and I say that because I remember going into my parents room and like I was dressed like I had on like some shorts and a shirt but like like they weren't like normal wear around the house clothes like they looked like clothes I was, that I would be going out in and I remember my mom saying to me you look like you about to go somewhere and I was like nah I didn't, I'm not going nowhere like <laughs> Bro, like when I'm lying, honestly, when I'm lying, I feel like I be stuttering a lot. So I was stuttering. I'm like, no, I'm not going to work. But of course, I can tell her, like, she was going to, you feel me, find out. So a few hours later, my friends get there. And you feel me? They, they texted me, telling me they down the street, down the street. So I'm trying to get my stuff together. Uh, I got my bag. I ended up, I have three bags, but I only could carry two. Like the other one, it was too heavy. So I, I just left i'm not leaving it behind and i had my book bag i think and then i had a bag across me like a uh no i had three bags i had four bags initially but the fourth bag i couldn't carry i had a book bag on i had a bag a sling bag and then i had one in my hand and i remember walking out the door like my room is like right in my room at, grandma, at my grandma's house is right across the hall from the back door so i remember walking out of my room and i looked to my left and me and my dad made eye contact. Now he sees me with all these bags in my hand. He he looked at me like, and then I looked away so quick and I ran out the door. And but like he was talking to my grandpa at the time, so I don't think it really clicked to him like what I was doing. You feel me? Like why I have all my bags with me? So I walk outside and my friends pulling up. They didn't even pull in the driveway. They're in the street. Put my throw my bags in the trunk. Yeah, in the car. We going down the street, right? And a few, I didn't even get that far down the street. My mom's calling me. Wait, well, no, she texted me first, and I didn't answer. And then she started calling me. I didn't answer none of the calls, and she ended up leaving me some voicemails. Now I, ain't, I ain't never had no voicemail from my mom before. Even after this incident, my mom's never left me a voicemail before. So I guess she realized that I was gone. And the whole time she calling me, she blew my phone up. I didn't answer none of the calls. She keep leaving voicemails. I'm listening to the voicemails. At first, I wish I had the voicemail so I could play it for y'all. Um, the first voicemail, I remember she was like, hey, um, where are you going? Or something like It was like something very subtle. Like her voice was very calm. Now, as the voicemails like kept going, I could hear the anger in her voice. get like She kept getting more and more angry as I was listening to the voicemails. I'm like, oh, man. And one of the last voicemails, she was like, if you don't come back right now, um... I'm gonna report you missing. I'm like, like that actually kind of got me. I'm like, oh shoot, like I don't want to get my friends in trouble because they took me. But I'm like, wait, like I'm 18, you can't report me missing. Like me thinking I'm grown, like yeah, I'm 18, you can't report me missing. What you mean? And I think I think I was the one who made the joke. I'm not sure if I was the one who made the joke, but I was like, y'all, what if? Like, imagine we're driving and an Amber Alert comes up on our phone and it has my name on it. 
that was like the funniest thing ever in that moment but really i was like kind of like panicking a little bit like what if that jump really do happen what if she really do report me missing like are my friends gonna go to jail for kidnapping me or something like you feel me like i was kind of scared but like me being who i am i make jokes to kind of lighten up the mood and i don't want nobody to be like scared about that jump. but ended up getting the woman's in like my mom stopped i think she stopped calling me got to Wilmington now she she ended up having my grandma call me my brother was calling me they was blowing on my phone and I was not I wasn't answering nobody now I did text my brother and tell him like I left you feel me but because like you know that's my dog I told him <laughs> but um like I didn't talk to my grandma I didn't answer from my grandma she left me some voicemails too but I can't even remember what she said I think she was just telling me to go back home but I ended up getting to Wilmington and I was like y'all like I can't like I was gonna stay with my best friend, but I'm like, I can't stay here because what if my mama decides to wake up in the morning and come down here and get me? This is the first place she's gonna look. I can't be here. So I ended up going to stay with my girlfriend at the time. I went to her house and I stayed there. And then like I was trying to let the situation cool down, you feel me? And I think I was at Wilmington for like a week and I ended up going back to my old job. Like the job that I had before I left, which which is at the movie theater, um, and I remember being there. I was at work one day, minding my business, um, and I looked up. Like I was, I was on my phone, sitting at the register on my phone, and I look up and I see this white car pull up, and I was like, that car kind of, kind of looked like my mom's car. Now, first of all, before I even get into that, when like first of all, okay, so I don't know if all movie theaters are like this, but like you know, on the outside of the movie theater. The window is tinted so you can't really see in but when you get in and you look out like it's clear like you can see everything so like i'm seeing every, like i'm i can see everybody walking up so and i see the white car pull up and i'm like that car looked like my mama car lo and behold she gets out the car and i was like stuck i was like bro i'm in the i went to the back real quick i'm texting in the group chat y'all my mama here what should i do should i run like <laughs> but that was like where for real she there what she want and i'm like I, she ain't come in yet okay so she ain't she ain't had come in yet right so she, like i come back from out I, I came from the back and she was walking in and wait first of all hold on i missed the part i missed the part so after the week had you know like it had been a week since i was there and my mom, like, I think we were talking. We were back talking again. But, like, it was still out of some tension or whatever. So, um, she, that day when I was at work, she called me. But I didn't answer because I'm at work. And she texted me and was like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm at work. You feel me? And this was, like, not, I feel like it was, like, 15 minutes later. And I seen her pull up. And, then, you know, I was texting my friends. So, she came in and. She was like, can I speak to you outside? And I'm like, oh man, she about to whoop me in front of all these people. She gonna whoop me, like. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that, but like, I really was scared. Like, I thought she was gonna really like, put her hands on me in front of these people. So, we walk outside and then, it wasn't even no, ten it wasn't nothing. Like she ended up, like that bag that I left, that fourth bag I left, she brought me that and then, she was like asking me where I was staying at and I was like of course I said my best friend's house I didn't tell her that I wasn't there but <laughs> that's what she thought I was staying at and then well that's what I told her I lied but then she gave me a hug you feel me we talked for a second and then she left and I was so relieved because y'all I was scared when, when I seen her coming up I, I was scared I thought she I thought my life was over my, my life flashed before my eyes and what's crazy about that that whole situation was just like a couple weeks ago my parents brought that up to me like I don't know what we were talking about I was driving my mom was in the passenger seat my dad was in the back we were, like I was driving I don't even know why why that came up but I think my dad was the one who said something about me running away and then I'm in the car first of all I'm driving I can't avoid them talking about it they asked me like why I did it again why I do it again of course I said no I wouldn't do it again I don't know if I would do it again or not but of course I said I wouldn't like I don't know like I can't speak for that because like now I'm not in that position but 
to ask me like they then i knew who was in the car like all my friends there was four of them that came to get me they knew who they was because like i hang with the same people first of all shout out to my friends because i love y'all but like they is some real people like i like them my dogs for real like i've been rocking with some of them since elementary school some of them i met in high school we still cool like i mess with all y'all like my friend that was in that car that day i ain't gonna say their names but y'all know who y'all are because i don't want to say their name because i don't know if they want all y'all knowing their names or whatever but i rock with y'all so heavy shout out to y'all bro i love y'all for real because bro that was some real stuff they did for me that day when they came to get me bro like that was real friendship i really messed with them so heavy shout out to y'all always stay friends with the same people since i was a kid and i'm saying people that you know like we got we still i still talk to them you know you know we we all on our separate paths right now you know we everybody don't go to the same college but i still rock with them heavily i, I love y'all for real y'all watching this i love y'all shout out to y'all y'all the realest people i know that is the end of this video if y'all like the story time i have a lot of more crazy stories i can tell so if y'all like this one you feel me comment below and you know i might have to get some stories out of my arsenal you feel me because i done did a lot of crazy stuff in my life um i can't tell y'all everything i did on youtube but you feel me the ones that i can say on youtube i'm gonna tell y'all if y'all really want to know but um before y'all click off this video please like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video peace